What's going on everyone, it's that time for all of us to say goodbye to the current season. But first with the season coming to a close on Sunday, it means the very next day you're going to be sitting back in school. But I have good news. Everyone who hit that thumbs up button on this video won't have to go to school at all next week. Congratulations, enjoy your day off. Everything you want to know about season 4 is leaked, we're going to cover it here in this video. First things first, each day we get closer and closer into the next season. Build up here on the chapter 3 season map continues to get crazier as the reality tree has been sucking the energy out of the zero point for the last two weeks now, causing the tree to make a more and more powerful sound with each day that passes. And even the spread of a mysterious gooey substance on the spawn island, which actually turned out to be chrome. And we saw this in a bunch of leaked teasers posted by Fortnite, which we see this weird chrome substance starting to take over everything that it touches. Just so you know, this is not the first time we've seen chrome. It's actually present in Chapter 2, Season 6. That's what the Zero Point was contained in, had a massive effect on anybody who came near it, Raz being one of them who became fully corrupted by the end of the season. Which is exactly what we see happening to the actors in these teasers. The actual chrome material itself is called by the name Chromium, which, believe it or not, the very first time we actually heard of this substance was all the way back in Chapter 1, Season 4. We received two brand new skins, both fully made of chrome, one of them being called Diecast, the other one literally Chromium. But you'll notice that the Diecast skin looks like an all chrome version of Jonesy, which is likely caused by him coming into contact with the chrome liquid, exactly like we saw depicted in the leaked. Teaser. while the chromium skin shares the exact same model as the default Ramirez skin. Even though these skins came out in chapter 1 season 4, it's very likely that the villains in the next season are indeed going to be these chrome people, because we know the power of the chromium and how it can exploit people's weaknesses, making it likely that the paradigm won't actually be working with the 7 next season, because as far as we know from the teaser about 2 weeks ago, she was literally consumed by the chrome. But not only are we going to have to deal with some corrupted members of the Seven, alongside them we'll also see two new villains introduced to the storyline. One of them being the Bloom Watcher who we saw in the end of the Season 3 trailer. We won't actually be seeing on the Fortnite map but rather above it inside this thing I know. But keep in mind that she will eventually show up even more, most likely in a live event, where she'll be going up against the Seven. Don't forget however it's likely the Queen who is responsible for the spread of the Chromia. Because in each of the season 4 trailers, we see the products as being organic, so we know it targets living things. Meaning we may start to see things around the map turn to chrome. Which is all to prepare the island for the arrival of the Bloom Queen. Which now that I think about it, I don't know why Fortnite just has queens. But we'll save that for another video. Even though Stan is sure if Geno will finally show up, there has been some rumors that he's alive. This part in particular from the Fortnite comic showed that he actually didn't die, even saying quote, not the end. Meaning that Geno is alive and well and is somewhere out there in the Fortnite universe. And here's where things get crazy. Epic Games is well known for making many collab skins and adding them to the Fortnite Battle Pass. One of them being the Gwen Stacy skin that wasn't confirmed until this week. You see Gwen Stacy's hand coming out of the goo very similarly to other teasers where we also saw other hands reaching out. This skin in particular being a chromium one possibly looking like this, the survey skin. Keep in mind however, although we have a good idea of what this season's skins are going to look like, we still don't have any idea of who our secret skin for next season may be. This season we got the Indiana Jones skin. And as we know, Fortnite is good at making easter eggs in game, just like the Indiana Jones refrigerator. They did something similar again this season, where on the edge of the map you will be able to find this weird looking thing, which has a lot of people comparing it to the Lord of the Rings castle. And they recently updated the location, making it look even more like the Lord of the Rings castle. Now there's a chance that it's just a coincidence and that the real secret skin is something completely different. But it's pretty common that Epic makes new skins of new popular movies or TV shows, and y'all guessed it, there's a new Lord of the Rings show premiering right now. But yeah guys, I don't know, I can't wait for season 4 to come out in 2 days, especially with all these teasers. As always guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!